In this video tutorial, we're going to continue looking at advanced differentiation rules, but this time we're going to focus on the quotient rule in particular. Now the quotient rule is used whenever we have a fraction or a function divided by a function, as we'll see in a moment. Now on the screen here, we have our equation sheet for the calculus topic, and the formula that we're going to be applying this time is the one here which reads dy by dx, or the derivative, equals v du dx minus u dv dx, all divided by v squared. And I've added a note on the bottom there that when we look at this function divided by a function, the function on the top or the numerator will be assigned the letter u and the function on the bottom, also known as the denominator, will be assigned the letter v or the function v. We would then differentiate u with respect to x, we would differentiate v with respect to x and then we could apply all of that to the equation for the quotient rule. So we're going to start with a function of the form y equals 2x squared plus 7x divided by 3x cubed minus 4. Now, as we said before, the numerator will be assigned the letter u and the denominator will be assigned the letter v. Therefore, u is 2x squared plus 7x, and v is 3x cubed minus 4. We need to differentiate each of those with respect to x, so we're going to get du by dx. Now 2x squared differentiates to 4x, and 7x just differentiates to 7. Next we're going to differentiate v with respect to x, so dv by dx. Well, if we differentiate 3x cubed, we're going to get 9x squared. And if we differentiate minus 4, a constant or minus 4 will just differentiate to 0. Okay, so just as a reminder, our formula for the quotient rule states that dy by dx equals v du dx minus u dv dx all divided by v squared. So if we set this up on the other side now, we have dy by dx equals v du dx. So we're multiplying v and du dx together. v is 3x cubed minus 4. And du dx is 4x plus 7. Now from that we need to subtract u dv dx. Well u dv dx is 2x squared plus 7x times 9x squared. I'm just going to write those the other way around. So I'm going to have 9x, 9x squared multiplied by our u of 2x squared plus 7x. And all of that needs to be divided by v squared. Well, v is 3x cubed minus 4. And just to make this easier to multiply out, I'm going to do 3x cubed minus 4 times 3x cubed minus 4. So there's quite a few steps to this. What we're going to need to do is multiply out all of the brackets and then simplify the final expression. So here we're going to get dy by dx equals, when we multiply out the brackets, we need to multiply the 3x cubed by the 4x and the 7. And then we need to multiply the minus 4 by the 4x and the 7. So 3x cubed times 4x, 3 times 4 is 12. And x cubed times x is x to the 4. Then we've got 3x cubed times 7, which is 21x cubed. Next, we've got minus 4 times 4x, which is minus 16x. And then we've got minus 4 times 7, which is minus 28. Okay, so over to our next expression, we need to do minus 9x squared times 2x squared, and then minus 9x squared times 7x. So minus 9x squared times 2x squared is minus 18x to the fourth. 
and minus 9x squared times 7x, well, 9 times 7 is 63. So we're going to get minus 63x cubed. Okay, now onto the bottom of our fraction. So first of all, we need to multiply the 3x cubed by both the terms in the second bracket. So 3x cubed times 3x cubed is 9x to the 6. And 3x cubed times minus 4 is minus 12x cubed. We then need to repeat that, multiplying both terms in the right-hand bracket by the minus 4 in the left-hand bracket. So we have minus 4 times 3x cubed is minus 12x cubed. And minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16. Okay, so next we need to simplify this by collecting like terms. So dy by dx equals, if we go to the top of the fraction first of all, we have 12x to the fourth and we have minus 18x to the fourth. So if we take 12x to the fourth and we minus 18 lots of x to the fourth, we're going to be left with minus 6x to the fourth. And we've dealt with that term and that term there. If we next move on to terms involving x cubed, we have 21x cubed here, but we have minus 63x cubed here. 21 minus 63 is minus 42x cubed. So we've dealt with that term and that term. And then finally, we have minus 16x minus 28 for our remaining two terms. Moving on to the bottom then, we have 9x to the 6. We have minus 12x cubed minus 12x cubed, which is minus 24x cubed, plus our 16. And that is the derivative of our original function, y equals 2x squared plus 7x, all divided by 3x cubed minus 4. Now what a question may ask you to do is to find the gradient or the derivative of this line when x is a given value. So let's say for example it asked you to find the gradient of the line when x equaled 2. You'd need to input the value of 2 into all of these terms involving x. So we would end up with minus 6 times 2 to the power 4, minus 42 times 2 cubed and so on. And then when you calculated that and simplified it, that would give you the gradient or the derivative of the function when x equals 2.